my favourite place in Bicester. I think it has to be the Langford Community Orchard. My favourite place in Bicester is the Gar Park. My favourite space is here in the community garden. It's definitely Gaffrey Meadows. Out of all of them is here in Burr Park. Your park. I'm going to go for, for danger fields. Well, I've got two places that I really like. It's the Hazel Avenue, where there are snowdrops that have been rescued from part of the HS2 construction project. It feels like you're in the country, even though it's right in the centre of the town. You can walk through wildflower meadows and you can walk by the watercourse. We also get to meet a lot of the users of the park. The Launton Grange, which is an old people's place, and uh, it's got some beautiful gardens, and I enjoy making that nice for them. Changes during the seasons radically. Even though we're just completely surrounded by houses, it's a real lovely little haven for wildlife. Despite the challenges posed by urban environments, our towns and cities can provide uh, you know, homes to a fantastic wealth of wildlife. And in fact, our towns and cities are becoming more important due to the loss of suitable habitat elsewhere. We are here in the centre of, of Bista, and the Wild Bista project um, has offered us a fantastic opportunity to connect people with nature on their doorstep and we've sought to inspire and support people and communities, whatever their background from across the town, to do their bit for wildlife, whether that's in a domestic space or it's in a shared community space. And for us no space is, is too, or action is too small, you know, whether it's been you know, cutting a hole in a fence for hedgehogs, whether it's been putting a bowl of water on a windowsill for, for birds to splash around in, or planting a few nectar-rich flowers uh, for the bees. All of these small acts together combine to make that bigger wildlife jigsaw, which can really help nature bounce back on our patch. Wild Bister has been putting on some events and projects that uh, Green Gym has been supporting. They put on things like scything, learning to use size properly, a very old art in being able to cut long grasses and keep back undergrowth and that's been very rewarding and beneficial to the users in Green Gym. There has already um, been some fantastic community groups and, and activity in the town and they've been hugely supportive of the project and have been engaged um, with Wild Vista throughout. This town is growing so rapidly and covering up all the green spaces around about with more houses and so it's good that there's a little tiny area here at least of green space that nature can still still thrive in we hope well we've got to be realistic you know not all urban wildlife is faring well but from you know, from bumblebees to blackbirds from foxes to peregrine falcons you know, our towns can provide homes to a wealth of wonderful wildlife if we give it a chance the partnership that we have with VBAU, the Barks, Bucks and Oxen Wildlife Trust, over many years has been brilliant, um, particularly the last 18 months when we've had this wild Vista project um, focused on the town and all the local environmental groups within the town and the green spaces and the connection with nature that we're trying to um, provide for local residents. Research is showing, I think, what many of us instinctively knew uh, for a long time that a healthy, thriving natural world is, a, is essential for our, our well being, and that's why it's been so rewarding. It's all working with the residents here at Launton Grange Care Home who have just seen the benefits of turning their garden into an oasis for wildlife. The residents have absolutely loved it. They've loved learning about the animals and the wildlife. Um, they've also like being involved and to encourage the animals here um, to make them a little safe haven. Uh, they love the deers and they want to see more animals in here.
Typically half of an urban area is green space. Um, that's made up of, of nature reserves and woodlands, parks, allotments, uh, churchyards and cemeteries. And here we are, this is St Edburgh's, we're just a couple of minutes from the, the, the town centre here. The church group have been managing the churchyard for wildlife and last year they were recipients of a, an Eco Church Award for their efforts. And even the most the most unlikely urban spaces, like, like here at Dangerfields, you know, surrounded by housing near the town centre, can provide you know, truly rewarding encounters with the natural world. 